Hello and welcome to Pops and Soul. I'm Mehdi, here to spread the happy vibes with awesome K-pop songs. At the end of the year, you can hear a lot of winter themed songs playing from the shops on the streets. And one of the most classic winter songs would have to be G.O.D.'s One Candle. It goes, what can we do with a small candle? It won't drive the darkness away. But when you have another small candle and another, you will eventually lift the darkness all around you. So, Take a look around to see if you can help people in need and don't ever think that you can make a difference because you can contribute to making this world a better place. So, it's time for another winter special edition of Pops and Soul and I'm going to kick off today's show with lovelies for you. Music video, start! Talinen Gibun Talika Malka Talika Malka Talinen Gibun Sake do wa da 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 How did you know that Prince? Oh, I actually didn't. I was right and made me practice. <laughs> well, it's nice to see you try so hard. And you know, a famous comedian used his Christmas carol on a skit and it became even more popular. And people actually love singing this whenever the Christmas season rolls around. Yes, in addition to the traditional Christmas carols, many winter and Christmas themed songs are released around the world every year. And K-pop is no exception. Yes, of course. And winter themed songs make you fall into the Christmas spirit. Mm. And that's why we prepared a special segment today. Yes, we'll present you with some of the best winter theme songs in the K-pop industry. Yes, that's right. We'll check out some of the biggest hits in the past winners. And first, let's check out the hits that were released in the 1990s and 2000s. I'm sure there's a song that comes to everybody's mind when they think of winter songs. And it's Park Shin's Snow Flower, released in 2004. His vocals and lyrics were perfect for the winter season. And DJ DRC's Winter Story from 1996 mm -hmm. and Turbo's Reminiscence and White Love from 1997 was also considered Iconic winter song. And that's right, you know, back in the day, Turbo's uh, White Love played at all the ski resorts. I mean, all the ski resorts. Yes, and of course, Finkel's White and Double S501 Snow Prince caused a huge sensation as well. You know, there's a music video that always comes to mind whenever it's winter, though. What is it? It stars December 32nd. Ah, I know that song. It's about a woman who waits for the man who doesn't keep his promise by returning by the end of this year. So as the days go by, past December 31st, mm, she said to herself that there's December 20, uh, 32nd and 33rd and so on and so forth. Mm. But Eddie, why do you find this music video so memorable? Well actually because Star aka Bear, she acted in the music video herself and she waits for the guy and she becomes a frozen doll which shatters at the end. You know, I personally find the storyline very, very impressive. Oh, I'll take a look at the music video one day. Mm, yes, and of course, winter is probably the most romantic season of all. Mm, that's Perhaps right. that's why many lovely duets have been released in the winter time. Yes, that's right. I just thought of a great example: Brown Eyed Girls, Kain, and SG Wannabe's Young Jun must have love. Ah, oh, yes, that one's very nice. But also, Song Shi Kyung and Kwon Ji's "Don't Forget" is also a beautiful duet mm. that's perfect for the winter season. Yes, and don't forget CM Blue's Chongyeon and Junyeol's "Love oh. Falls." Whenever I listen to it, it makes my heart bounce. No. I wish I could sing a you know winter winter song with a lovely female. I uh, hope you get to it as well in the near future. Please say it like you mean it. You sound so soulless. Oh, I mean it. I mean it. I really mean it. Anyways, whatever. With the digital music market on the rise after 2010, many more winter theme songs began pouring out in December. For instance, Girls' Generation's Tetsu Song, Dear Santa, and EXO Sing for You were released this month. That's right, and EXO also dropped a winter theme song titled Miracles in December in 2013. I'm sure that's the most iconic winter song for many EXO fans. And of course, Infamous Lately released in 2011. He has requested a lot for our past family in the wintertime. You Can Cry and The Winter's Tale by the mischievous and playful boy band B2B are also perfect for this season. Oh, and remember the girl group that wore uh, the, co the costume, the tree costume ah, on stage? Ah, yes, yes, yes. It was Crayon Pop mm -hmm. who did that during the promotion of Lonely Christmas. That transformation blew everyone's mind away. And there was a winter theme song that just swept the charts and the globe. Oh, what was that? Let it go, ah, let it go. Ah, yes, yes, yes. yes. And you know, Let It Go, a theme of the 2013 animation film Frozen became a smash hit. I remember kids, um, this tiny singing, Let It Go in Korea, 
They couldn't even pronounce it properly, but they were still singing. Yeah, and many K-pop singers, uh, you know, covered this uh, song as well, don't you? Yes, think? it was sung by Hyunin of Sister, and it was covered by countless other female singers, including A. Lee, Song Sung Yoon, Dia, Ben, Kim Bo Hyung of Speaker, and more. Yes, and that's right. And these days, the artists of an entertainment agency record a special song for the winter holidays. That's right. All of the artists and groups from the agencies get together to present a song that gets everyone into the holiday vibes. But do you know who started it? Mm, I'm not sure, but I'm guessing SM Entertainment? Yes, you're right. Oh. You know, actually, SM Entertainment released Snow Dream, which was by TVXQ, Super Junior, BOA, and CSJH in 2006. But didn't TVXQ and Super Junior sing a winter song together before then? That's right. They jointly performed Show Me Your Love in 2005 and present unforgettable memories for the fans. Don't forget that JYP Entertainment that our lovely Susie belongs to also released a winter theme song. Right, they presented this Christmas under the name JYP Nation in 2010 and the recording artists were Park Jin Young, 2PM, 2AM, Wonder Girls and Miss A. Yes, and Happy Pleaders Love Letter featuring Son Dan B, After School, New Ways and Hello Venus was released in 2012. And also Jellyfish Entertainment representing Park Hyo Shin, Song Shi Kyung, So In Guk and Bix has been dropping winter holiday singles since 2010. Mm. And all the songs became hits including the first one, Christmas Time, as well as Because It's Christmas in 2012, and of course, the chart copy winner proposed in 2013. Cube Entertainment, representing Beast, Four Minute, A Pink, and B2B, released Christmas Song in 2013. And Kara, Rainbow, and Ajax from DSP Media did a remake of White by their former agency May Finkel and released it as the first winner special album. Oh, I also learned that Kiara, Speed, and the CS Project single, Don't Forget Me. Ah, uh, we also can't leave our Starship Entertainment. This year, K Will, Sister, Boyfriend, and Monster X collaborate on Softly. And their entertainment agency has been releasing a winter holiday song a year after year with the title and name Starship Planet. And their song includes Snow Candy, White Love, and Love Is You. Wow, that's a lot. We should release a winter theme song with Jackie Chan. Uh, what a good idea. Yes. To our CEO, please, let's do a winter song under the name Jackie Chan Project. Oh, that'll be awesome. So anyways, why don't we take a short break with a music video that's perfect for the winter season. Yes, here is DSP Friends, White, which is a remake of Finkel's White. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so white out there. Where's Snow White? Oh, she's sleeping. That witch. It's time for a special saving that's made possible thanks to the participation of our Pops family worldwide. And plus, it involves a fierce battle between Eddie and I. It's time for Pops Rankings! Yes, you know, but it feels different, doesn't it? Host, you know, hosting Pops Rankings at this beautiful ski resort. Mm, it sure does. It's really refreshing being surrounded by all this white snow. Yes, and for today, we chose the perfect topic for this setting. Mm, let's not waste any more time and reveal the topic right away. Yes. Today's topic is, which idol stars look pure just like Ooh. snow? It's nice to be regarded as someone pure, don't you think? Well, Eddie, what kind of image do you want our fans to know you by? I tend to say more masculine, more pure, cute. But, you know, of course, I also want to be seen as a pure idol star. Mm, well, I think pure doesn't really go with you, Eddie. Why? Well, I'm mad at you. Anyways, let's mad. check out the nominees for this week's topic, shall we? Sure, here are the top 10 nominees who were nominated for their pure image. They were Girls' Generation Sohyun, Jia's Im Shiwan, Chinese Onu, A Pink For Me, Lovely's K, Internet Song Jong, Red Velvet's Yeti, Yoo Sung Woo, AOA's Mina, and BTS's Jimmy. Mm, they are definitely the most pure looking idols in the K pop industry. That's right, and it's heartwarming just to look at them. Well now, it's time for us to guess the top three before we unveil the results of the poll. But you know, I already made up my mind. As soon as I heard the word pure, the three idols, they just came to my mind. So I'm sorry, but I guess you're gonna have to go for the penalty today, Mike. Oh, you wish. You know, I am the purest member of our group. So when pure sees pure, they know what they're talking about. On what basis are you saying you are the purest member of JJCC? Look at these sweet looking eyes. Do I remind you of like a pure child? Yeah, 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 sure. Anyways, I'm sure our past family agree. Anyways, let's get on with it right away. Sure, 
Here we go! Are you done? Let's unveil our choices right now. Ready? Okay. One, two, three. Ta da! Oh. Oh. A bit different, except for this one. Oh. Well, why did you choose these three? Oh, okay. Uh, let me start from uh, Song Jung, Infinite Song Jung. Mm -hmm. Mainly because our manager is a big Infinite fan. So she said that, uh, well, if no, we, she didn't say that. You too, it's just, if we don't put it down, she's gonna... Well, how about this? This is, this is her Christmas present for this year. Yes. So Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to Merry our Christmas manager. Yes, this one. <coughs> uh, and for number two is Yeti of uh, Red Velvet. Mm -hmm. I feel like Red Velvet really gained the popularity after adding the new member Yeti in. So I think it's because of a pure image that really completed the Red Velvet team. Mm -hmm. And the Soyeon of, um, Girls' Generation, she has been known for her pureness, uh, and it's been a big issue. And because um, of Girls' Generation's, you know, popularity, they've always been in top three. If there was a Girls' Generation member uh, in the nominees, they were always in the top three. So there you go. I got it this week. Okay, okay let's do uh, this. Well, for me, number three, as same as print, is an early Christmas present for our manager, and number two, on you. Their image, actually, Shiny's whole image is actually they're all very. Light skin, white skin, and also if you just look at Onyu, he's just too bright. He's just bright, always bright. And also, first Jimin, he's been called the White Prince these days. Mm. So that's why I chose Jimin recently. And now, let's you want to check out the top five results? Okay, but you're going down, Eddie. And uh, no, I don't think so. Yes. I think I'm just like these members. I'm the first member of JJCC. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. But let's re uh, unveil. Yes, please tell us the. Uh, what top is the, what is no, the top, five? top five? Yes, top five. Uh -huh. Oh! Yeti, born in 1999, is still in her teens, and she has captivated all the male fans with her innocent beauty and long hair. She is called the post unit of SM because of her innocent look and bright smile. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, Woo! Yes, let's go! Oh! Song Jong is known for his twinkly eyes and radiant smile. He has thrown away many hearts with his gentle and innocent side shown off stage. Fourth place. Okay, who's third? Soyeon is famous for being a straight arrow who never breaks the rules. She projects an innocent image with her huge eyes and tiny face, and she is loved for her kind and polite personality. I'm finished! Okay, goodbye. Yes! I'm finished! <laughs> Oh! Onyu, the leader of Shiny, is nicknamed Tofu because he is so pure and gentle. With a flawless complexion and boyish smile, he is considered the purest member of this group. Oh! Yes, okay. Jimin, a vocalist of BTS, has captivated the older ladies with his cute, boyish look and petite physique. He looks just like an innocent kid and shows the essence of pureness and innocence. I think he's cheating! Is it because he's the host of Pops and Soul? Luca. And he wins! Today's winner is me! Wow, this yes. is going to be memorable since we're doing it out here. Mm -hmm. And I bet you so many people are watching right now. This is so embarrassing to me. Oh, yes, the winner no. is me, so come on, just say congratulations to me, uh. man. Congratulations, Eddie. Merry hey, Christmas. I'm pretty sure the, pe the penalization will be very funny today. Oh, I know, but I think it's going to be really horrible. Ah, well, we'll see about that. Well, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, okay. Anyways, uh, we have to give a We'll show you the punishment later, but first we have to make the announcement. The usual announcement, right? Uh, sure. You can drop by our Facebook page uh, for next week's poll cast a vote and let your voices be heard. Yes, that's right. You guys are the reason why this segment is made possible. So please participate in the role and yes. also put your input in on the next survey. Our fate is dependent on you. Mm -hmm. So make sure you vote. And also, there's a hilarious punishment that's waiting for Prince. So you're definitely going to regret it if you miss that out. So make sure you stay tuned to the end. And now, he's run by Jimmy's group, BTS.
You should run, mate. Run. <laughs> run. Yo, run. <laughs> run. Run home. Run home. Winner! It's time for Prince to receive the punishment today. And today's punishment is... Oh, cool. Ta-da! Oh. oh my, I'm getting goosebumps already just looking at it. Well, just give it to me right away, I'll eat it. Oh, uh, no, well, come on. You know that's too easy. Take off your shoes here, take off your uh, shoes. Why, 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 tell me? You have to take off your shoes and eat this ice cream while standing on the snowfield. Just take it off, hurry. Take it off, take, hurry up, take it off. Oh, fine, take it off, hurry up, fine, uh, take it off, take it off, take it off, take it off. Okay. <sighs> oh, it's freezing. Oh! Ah. Oh! Ah, here you go. <laughs> oh, slowly. It's freezing. Yeah. yeah, it's probably really cold. So you should hurry up and eat. Okay. Oh, your spoon. Oh, wait, your spoon. Your spoon. Oh, oh, it's so cold. It, it doesn't work. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yes, I uh have. -huh. The spoon's not coming out. Yeah. What you just? Oh, hey, what are you doing? Hey! Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Ow, 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 don't hesitate to knock on our door and share your brilliant idea with us. Yes, make sure you leave us a your message on our Twitter, Facebook, or add our TV homepage. And feel free to leave us your phone requests as well. And Chris, I will give you the honor to tell the last song for today. <laughs> the last song for today is EXO's Miracles in December. Requested by ID, No Thang Sangi, Salo Nos from India. Now, let's say, <coughs> say goodbye together, shall we? Bye-bye! <laughs> Bye-bye!